Hi, I'm Jeff, and here is your two-minute overview of MDT, also known as the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, and four things you need to know to be successful in using it. MDT is a do-it-yourself tool for provisioning desktops, laptops, and servers. It's useful for businesses with more than 50 Windows-based devices that need to be set up, just so long as you're prepared to put in the elbow grease to get it going. MDT is popular, and there are some good reasons why. First, it's free. You can turn it on and start configuring in your current environment right away, generally without needing to stand up a bunch of servers or network resources. Second, it's highly configurable. Want to set up a laptop with basic Windows images and updates? Sure. Want that laptop to have their proper drivers and a few applications and also run some custom tasks? Also yes. Anything that you have the knowledge and ability to architect and create from scratch, you can deploy with MDT. Now let's talk about those four things I mentioned to be successful. One, you're going to need to have or hire a technician who has a strong skill set in the Windows deployment realm and experience with things like sysprep and understanding for how device drivers work, image creation best practices, how to create scripts, and a can-do attitude since there is very little in the product to help guide you through using it. You are on your own. Number two, time. Plan accordingly because learning, building, testing, and rolling this stuff out can take weeks or months to get dialed in. Unfortunately, you aren't going to go from learning about MDT to imaging a pallet of laptops in an afternoon. Three is test equipment. Virtual machines are good for quick, rapid, and convenient tests, and you don't want to soft break anyone's workstation. Plan to have some spare machines set aside for testing this stuff. And four, get educated. There isn't exactly a simple user's guide for MDT, but you can find content from Microsoft MVPs to steer you in the right direction. If you're wanting to pixie boot your machines to image them, you're going to want to look into Windows Deployment Services, or WDS, for Microsoft as well. WDS is a role that has to be configured on a Windows server, and if you're going to be imaging more than 25 machines at a time, you're also going to need to consider multicast, which also has its own bit of extra configuration that can be challenging if you're new to this area. MDT also integrates into Microsoft Endpoint Manager, but whoo oh, that's a whole nother video. I hope this video helps shed some light on MDT for you. And one last thing, whether you plan to image computers with MDT or any other imaging solution, you'll need to comply with Microsoft's re-imaging rights and volume licensing rules. So be sure to see my other video on this and chat with your preferred software reseller to ensure that you have proper licensing. Okay, I'm done for real. If this video was helpful, please hit the thumbs up button below and give me a comment. And thanks for watching and good luck with your deployment projects.